Once upon a time, there lived a little monster named Edgar, who lived all alone in the big forest in a little dirt hovel, hiding from everyone and everything. That's because Edgar wasn't a scary monster who hid in closets, spooked little children, and haunted houses. In fact, he did quite the opposite. Because, you see, he had these terrible buck teeth, crossed eyes, and bat wings for ears, which made him just too ugly to be scary. And because of this, the other monsters simply could not associate themselves with him. It was too embarrassing to be friends with an ugly monster. So Edgar was never invited to tag along or hang out with the others. He was just forced to live a lonely existence all by himself. In his house, he would just cry himself to sleep every night and feel like an idiot because he wasn't inspiring any nightmares or bedwetting. One day though, Edgar was watching some late night TV while sitting on his couch and eating leftovers. And as he was just shoveling the last bit of food into his ugly mouth, the commercial came on the TV for a Halloween store sale. That gave Edgar an idea. If he can make over his image and become scary, then the other monsters would surely let him hang out with them. Once at the store though, he realized that he needed some help. He had no idea where to start. What made a monster scary anyway? Luckily for Edgar, there was a very scary looking employee who looked like she knew what she was doing. The scary employee was happy to help him, and started giving Edgar fake teeth, blood, and warts. And after the makeover, Edgar was positively scary. So the store employee invited him along on an outing with all the other monsters later that night. When Edgar got to the gathering, all the other monsters screamed in fright. It was just so scary that they didn't know if it was even the same Edgar that they had knew before. Edgar was so overjoyed and spent the rest of the night hanging out with all the other monsters. But then suddenly, something occurred to him. He just didn't feel like himself. This wasn't the real Edgar. He wasn't a scary monster with fake teeth and warts. He was an ugly monster with buck teeth and bad hair and polka dots. And he was fine with that. So Edgar threw off his glasses in a fit of rage and beckoned to the super scary store employee to follow him. And with that, he and the scary-looking employee ran off together and lived happily ever after.